Many may consider evangelism the lifeblood of the church, and while reaping meetings are important, evangelism can take many different forms. One collaborative effort took place in Miami. Members across South Florida had the opportunity to come together for a special weekend dedicated to family and health. Organized by the Southeastern Conference, the weekend ended with area churches coming together for the South Florida, or SoFlo Olympics. We believe that as one people, we are going to the same heaven. So we have incorporated churches from the Florida Conference that wanted to join up with us. I think it's good because a lot of our churches in our area don't really like correspond with each other. So it would be good to get all of us together and be able to like have festivities together, you know? Evangelism about outreach, it says, Go ye therefore into all the world, preach, teach, baptize. This is one of the ways that you can teach when you look at having competition, having a respectful opponent, understanding good morals, support. That's one of the ways that can help. And when you have those values and morals instilled in a young person, it also helps with their Christian walk. So this, we believe, is, is the foundation for greater things. Great things have also been taking place in Knoxville. For almost a year, members had cultivated the ground for evangelistic meetings in September, led by Roger Hernandez. In preparation for these meetings, over 300 members from the Knoxville area participated in a community outreach initiative coordinated by the Southern Union Ministerial Department. The meetings involved 12 churches from the Georgia Cumberland and South Central Conferences and culminated September 27th with over 100 baptisms. In publishing ministries, local church blast teams are on the move using creative ways and up-to-date resources to reach the millions in our union with the everlasting gospel. Already this year, over 800,000 truth-filled books, glow tracks, and USB gospel wristbands have been distributed in sports stadiums, speedways, government offices, and from door to door. New resources have been developed so that every member can engage in personal evangelism. Between August 12 and 15, over 10,000 Southern Union Pathfinders were part of over 46,000 Pathfinders that converged in Oshkosh, Wisconsin for the Forever Faithful International Camporee. To me, Oshkosh is like a chance to meet other Christians in our faith and our religion. What I love here is that like the events have been awesome. You're never going to get bored. I've met people from Cuba and Mexico and, you know, America and Canada, and we're all in the same place. I took the Ellen G. White class, and there I learned a lot about who she was and what she did for the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Going to school, it's really hard to find Seventh-day Adventists. Just coming here at youth camp, there's so many Adventists. It's just like a piece of heaven. The story of Daniel that they're doing this week makes me think about how to be faithful to God and everything you do. So not be scared to show others who God is, and no matter what they say about you, keep going. I'm going to tell my friends I went to Oshkosh, Wisconsin and we celebrated with people from all over the world to celebrate God's name. I hope that I can one day be a Pathfinder leader when I get older. Three churches in Tallahassee celebrated the opening of a new elementary school. Tallahassee Adventist Christian Academy opened this year as the first school in the Southern Union with constituent churches from two conferences. Over a year ago, pastors from the Florida and Southeastern conferences recognized it would be beneficial to work together in opening an Adventist school in Tallahassee. The Hispanic population across the Southern Union has been active in spreading God's message of hope. In both Tampa and Memphis, area churches have participated in joint evangelistic meetings. In Tampa, there was an average of over 250 visitors each night, and so far have been almost 100 baptisms. In Memphis, they had an average attendance over 300 and had 83 baptisms during one crusade. Evangelism is not just going and knock doors. In our church, we have a soccer field, we have different kind of games, so we invite the community to come and join us. Our burden right now is the fact that uh, we know that our church is not growing to the same way you know, that our community grows. That's why we're doing what we're doing now. This evangelistic meeting, we are preparing already for the next one. We are going to have Pastor Alejandro Bullon, and people are on fire because we just want to see more people coming to the kingdom of God. There's a lot of work. Just go to the market and you see faces and you see people needing Christ. 
Let's pray and let's work together so that we can be a force that God can use effectively wherever we are.